All right, let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Greetings and welcome everyone to Pinky Ponage. Today we'll be checking out Dr. Kwong and finding out what he wants to do. Betting it's a gambling debt. Dr. Felix Kwong, at your service. I have heard much about you. I hope that we can work together. That depends on what sort of work you have in mind, Mr. Kwong. Dr. Kwong, I am a clinical psychiatrist. Do you know what that means? I don't know. You like to dress up in women's clothes? <laughs> <laughs> that is very amusing. I'm sure your sense of humor serves you well in situations where you feel threatened or insecure. There's no much threatening about a bloke wearing a dress, Doctor. Never mind. Did you have a proposal to make? Despite what you might think, Mr. Devlin, I am a soldier. My battlefield is the human mind. My objective is to destroy the enemy's will to fight. There's a new field called psychological warfare. There's nothing new about it, Doctor. We Irish have been at it for centuries, on both sides of the pitch. Then, you understand why we must begin by sowing the seeds of fear and mistrust among our enemies. Our tool will be a traitor. In this case, a man who doesn't even know that he is a traitor. You got a crowd to turn coat. How? A combination of experimental drugs and hypnosis. I won't bore you with the details. Suffice to say, this Nazi will carry out my instructions. And what are those instructions? To assassinate a notorious Gestapo commander called Bauer. All you need to do is drive our impressionable German friend to Bauer's headquarters and make sure he completes his assignment. Now I'm playing chauffeur for a Nazi? Must be a chilly day in hell. Good day to you, Doctor. I'll let you know how your little scheme works out. Let's stand. Well, shit. This feels eerily some. Uh, God, this reminds me of the CIA's objective back in uh, what was it, the forties and like the sixties and the forties? Is this asshole like one of the front runners in that category? Fuck him. And shoot the brick. Too bad for me. I'm not Sean. Ugh. Well. Let's not do it, shall we? Fucker. I need a car that says... Perfect. No, oh, wait. You know what? Fuck it. When in doubt, just go classic. Oh. Sorry, I'm having none of your shit. Got enough to put up with. So, what's it like being a Nazi and all? My name is Corporal Spitz. I have un package for Herr Bauer. Oh, what's in the package? Whiskey, sausages, porno magazine. Christ, that's one hell of a gift basket. Where can I get one? I am Corporal Spitz. I have a package for Herr Bauer. Yeah, I gathered that. You just sit tight, Spitzy. Bauer's place is just up the road a bit. Well, this is pretty fucked. Kinda makes you wonder whose side they're playing on. This is the place. 
place. You go on ahead. I'll be waiting here when you get back. Zutritt verboten. Alter Offizier speaks. Ich habe ein Paket für Hein Bar. Bitte lassen Sie mich durch. Zu welcher Einheit gehören Sie? Woher kommt dieses Paket? Alter Offizier speaks. Ich habe ein Paket für Hein Bar. Das stimmt was nicht. Nehmen Sie diesen Mann fest und öffnen Sie das. Fuck it all. Kwong's game just went pear shaped. I'll have to finish off Bauer myself. <sighs> right, well... <sighs> well, the guy wasn't one for conversation to begin with. I'm gonna miss Mr. Uh, Colonel Schwartz, or Schwitz was his name. Meh, fuck it. I'll call him Paste, because that's what he is now. <clears throat> anyway. Again, kind of does bring an interesting point to mind. You know, how close can you get to your enemy before you are your enemy? And that is not okay. Would you just let me... There we go. Let's see. What do you guys think? Sound of thunder or silence and or silence in the night? Silence in the night. Some fucking master is. Oh shit. There. This way. Let's see. This way. Uh, well, for a master race, they've certainly just been put in their place. I wish I had some better music for you guys, but I don't. This commentary is crap. Well, rights regards, I'm better at the solitude and silence. It's so freaking hard to... Kawaii! Did he just wreck himself? Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get some later. You've got to be kidding. There's purple. Here's blue. Well, whatever you did to that crowd, it worked a little too well. Wonker never made it past the front desk. I have not, as of yet, perfected the brainwashing technique. I will have... Brainwashing? I'd rather my brain stay dirty. So what's the next step in this master plan of yours? Unfortunately, my plans must be delayed. The Gestapo has dispatched a pair of notorious assassins to hunt me down. I had a crucial meeting scheduled for today, but... now I will not be able to meet my contact. The danger is too great. Unless... Of course. You want me to cover your back? 
Is that it? There is a sniper's nest overlooking the square where the meeting is to take place. One of my colleagues will be watching the square from another building across the street with binoculars and a radio. If you position yourself in the sniper's nest, he will be able to help you spot any enemy agents in the crowd. I trust that you will kill them before they kill me. You could find worse odds to gamble on, Doctor. I'll do what I can. Well, let's... looks like we lost him. Best stay inconspicuous. Nothing on the skyline. Looks like I'm good. Now I just have to get up there. Uh, this is one of those buildings where I swear I have I have climbed there multiple times. I get past it. I don't know, maybe I didn't have something I do now. We'll find out. First things first. Lady, I will shoot you repeatedly for fun. That lot, I won't even break a sweat. Yeah, it was kind of a waste. Is anybody there? Bonjour, Mr. Devlin. All right. I'm in position. Keep your eyes peeled. Kwong is entering the square now. I see nothing yet. Alright, keep your shirt on. I can nice see the second assassin. The building on the right side of the square. Quickly, he's taking aim! Target eliminated. That should do it. Wait, someone's coming. There, on the street. Three more agents closing in. We are sending the car back for Kwong. Keep him covered. Excellent shooting, my ass! 
I'm using a freaking shotgun sniper Dr. rifle Ford crossover. Me to express his most sincere gratitude. Fine. Tell the doctor I'll be in touch. All right, guys. Welcome back. Here's Dr. Kwong. Let's see what he's got for us. Hello, doctor. What sort of mindfuck you got planned for the crowds this time? The foundation of the fascist psyche is a nexus of fear and control. The tension between these opposing forces manifests itself as an obsession with power. Material, spiritual, and sexual power. Uh, this isn't about your thing with women's underwear, is it? For the last time, I do not wear women's clothing, Mr. Devlin. I'm just saying, maybe you should talk to a doctor about that. The Nazis have installed a monstrous howitzer in the Pantheon Dome. The cannon's massive barrel thrusts into the sky above Paris like an engorged pillar of masculine flesh, while the women of the city tremble in the eclipsing shadow. Suddenly I'm feeling a wee bit uncomfortable, Doctor. I'm afraid to ask where this is headed. Don't you see? The cannon is a symbol of German authority in this area. We will drive a splinter of doubt into the heart of the Nazi forces. We will shatter their confidence and render them important. I must confess, Doctor, that's one hell of a scheme. You may be the smartest man ever to slip into a pair of silk pantyhose. You may leave now, Mr. Devlin. Let's get to that gun and see what all the fuss is about. Okay, guys, we're back. And as you just saw, yeah. Just really? two options. Either A, stealth, or B, fuck that, let's just kill these bastards. Oh, is this it? Seriously? You all. Okay, let's try that again. Actually, better idea. Okay. Come on, stupid. See, I'm French. I have a gun. Nothing you need to worry about. I mean, it's not like I'm fucking Irish and I'm gonna break your damn neck, you stupid fuck. You lot, take care of the body. I'll be back. Grenades, dynamite. You know, I find it really ironic that they're keeping this shit where anyone can just walk off with it. Now I feel like I've been robbed. Uh... Okay, first thing I can do is I can say fuck off to this. Is there anything else in the immediate area I need to hit? Oh, 
Does this gun even have enough firepower to pierce their helmets? Because I sincerely doubt it. Uh, and for those of you who are... Uh, nah. For those of you who are wondering why I didn't just blast my way in here before, well, I tried that. I died. Anyway. Here we go. going on in here? What the fuck do they need all this security for? Oh, wait. Duh. Still, let's see if I can't thin the ranks. Time to send these fellas home to Mama. What, really? No one's gonna say anything to that? Okay, well, let's keep going. Flamethrower guys! Well, that was a glitch and a half. So I could fight my way through all this, or I could just take this route. Did he just kill himself? What the fuck? <laughs> Well, I'm busted.
How am I missing? He is a shotgun, I have a sniper. Yes, yes, I am trespassing. Hang on a minute, didn't I stab like a whole bunch of people? So, shouldn't there be like one or two corpses that I haven't? Eh, oh well, fuck it. We were stealthy for the first part, and after that we kind of just said, you know, fuck this. Let's get to it! Okay, here comes the overture. They built an entire base. the fuck is alive to see me? I mean, this place is built like classic supervillains. Can't take his coat. It's kind of stupid. Wait, are scientists the only ones who are left? And before you ask, yeah, yeah, I'm well aware I just passed the gun, but I want to do this while I can. Because as soon as I blow the gun straight to hell, I'm pretty sure this gets cut off. Or more difficult.
Dot smarts. That did not work. And that gun, okay, I was gonna say, there's no way in hell that should have worked. How am I supposed to take this thing down? I should be dead by every right of the world. Fucking beautiful. If Dr. Kwong was right, there's gonna be a lot of limp rotwurst in the beer hall tonight. Mission complete. Is that the end of Dr. Kwong? I don't see him. Well. If that's that, then um Okay guys, I'll see you later. Once I get out of this clockwork hellhole, I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna start doing this more often because it just lets me knock shit out. Next we're doing MA. Whatever the fuck that is. This has been Pinky Ponage with a very, very bad commentary playthrough. And I'm going to dissect a lot out of this, hopefully. See you guys later.